Tiering with QNAP's Q-Tier can enable you to move frequently used data to faster drives while storing less used data on slower drives, giving you a more efficient storage space. Hot data that is most frequently used is moved to high performance storage tiers, while the less used cold data is moved to larger, cheaper drives. Displayed below is a storage pool composed of three different types of drives, SSDs, SAS, and SATA. The blue blocks represent cold data, the yellow blocks represent warm data, and the red blocks represent hot data. Before Q-Tier is enabled, you can see some of the data on the SSDs are not frequently used. This is a waste of the SSD capability. Also, you can see frequently used data in the slower drives, which means that the performance will not be as good as it could be. After Q-Tier is enabled, the data is distributed across the drives appropriately giving you maximum efficiency. Filling your NAS completely with SSDs will give you great performance, but it will be very costly and greatly limit your storage capacity. Another option is to fill your NAS completely with HDDs, giving you the cheapest solution with the most storage, but leaving you with the least performance. Q-Tier gives you the most efficient storage, giving you performance, capacity, and cost-effectiveness. Q-Tier optimizes storage efficiency, improves overall system performance, and helps you stay within your budget. Q-Tier's latest version, Q-Tier 2.0, analyzes the I.O. reads and writes, optimizing the tiers on a regular basis, keeping your storage as efficient as possible. Q-Tier saves you money by giving you the power you need while utilizing lower cost drives, Another new feature is that you will be able to implement Q-Tier even after you have created a storage pool. So if you don't have SSDs yet, you still have the option to implement them in your storage later without having to get rid of your storage pool. And the newest version of Q-Tier is more customizable than it's ever been with the ability to toggle on and off auto tiering for each shared folder. For this tutorial, we'll create a storage pool with tiering. And you're going to start by clicking the main menu button and under main menu select storage and snapshots. And a window is going to pop up here, but you can just close that for now. And select storage snapshots, formerly known as storage space in previous versions. And here we're going to click new storage pool. Click in the Enable Q-Tier box to select Enable Q-Tier, and click Next. Here on this next screen, you can select which drives you want in the fastest tier, and then you can also select what RAID you want for this tier, and click Next. On this next page, we'll select the drives for the next tier, a slower tier, and select the RAID that we want for this tier and click Next. Now we can just click Create and creating this will eliminate any data on the drives, but as long as you're okay with that, you can just press OK and create it. Here you have the option to create a new volume with your storage pool, but for now, I'll, I'll just close that out. And even if you don't create your storage pool with Q-Tier, you can just press this button and select Upgrade with Q-Tier to add tiering to a storage pool that you've created. So now you have your storage pool created with Q-Tier. Q-Tier gives you a more efficient storage solution. So be sure to check out the rest of our videos to better utilize your QNAP NAS. Thanks for watching.